Good morning, everyone. Hopefully all of you are having a great day. It is a Monday off work and it's rainy. Like I said in previous videos, we have the day actually off work. So we're just kind of using the day to get some stuff done. I am actually running to the store right now, get a few things that we need, <laughs> but we need to talk. I'll be back in a second. All right, so I'm out of the store and I came down here just mostly to stay out of the rain, but also kind of to prove a point for you guys. I wanted to talk about Seasonal Affective Disorder, or SAD, SAD, which is exactly what it sounds like, which is more commonly referred to as seasonal depression. It's not something that I struggle from. It's not even something that Allison struggles from, but we know that many of you who are our viewers may actually struggle with this. And the, in light of a lot of things that have happened lately, there's news about this type of stuff all the time. Obviously, Alice and I are big fans of Carrie Fisher's work and her awareness that she brought to mental illness and treatment. We wanna take a page out of her book and help raise that awareness. In America alone, seasonal depression is said to affect between 10 and 20%. That's 10 million Americans may suffer from seasonal depression. Seasonal depression is where, with the season changes, most commonly in the winter months in the US and predominantly in the northern portion of the United States, people actually ex exhibit depression symptoms just from the change in the weather, the temperatures, etc. On top of seasonal depression, in the winter months, also, suicide attempts are at an all-time high as well for the year. Guys, suicides are the 10th largest leading cause of death in the United States. And Allison and I were having this conversation last night and that is absolutely tragic, which is why today's vlog, we wanted to dedicate to that conversation exclusively. Rather than talk about anything going on in our life, we wanted to talk about this very, very important statistic. Over 44,000 Americans lose their life every single year due to suicide. And of those, 25 more will have attempted to do so. Men actually commit suicide about 3.5 times more than women. And actually seven out of 10 people who do commit suicide are white men. Now I don't tell you or share all these things with you to scare you or make you worried or feel sorry for anyone. You know, actually, it's quite the opposite. It's let's continue the conversation to talk about mental health. If you yourself are struggling or if you know anyone who is struggling, please, in the description below, there is a hotline where you can get someone to talk to, you can share that information, because you know what? Mental illness is a very real thing. It doesn't mean that you're a weak person. It doesn't mean that you can't cut it. It means that you just need some help and that is exactly what you or someone you may know need is just a little bit of help to get them to where they should be. And should be is also subjective. It's more like where they want to be because no one likes to be unhappy. No one likes to be sad all the time and sometimes it's just being aware of your surroundings and seeing that someone needs some help. We talk about this all the time on our channel, spreading positivity, and that's something that we want to do, and the biggest way we can actually pay down on that right now is when you see something, say something. But also, if you see someone down, go out of your way to help them, because you know what? If you were down, you'd want someone to do that for you too. So please, please, the number in the description below is if you have any thoughts or considerations or anything, please, it's okay to reach out for help. Allison and I both have experienced very close friends in our lives that are that are no longer with us right now. And it's not because they were weak or did anything wrong, but this is just something that we can all end together. This is something that can bring us together as a society. This is something that is the most human thing in the world man helping man and I can't even begin or beg to tell you guys how important it is to Allison and I if any of you are in need of help please check out that information in the description below a couple things obviously surrounding yourself with friends is a really big thing and family it's for seasonal depression actually light therapy taking in UV rays you can get light bulbs to do that dramatically helps so if you see that just just keep in mind and also just be nice to each other be nice to each other in the comment section below just like you'd be nice to people out in public because you don't know their story you don't know their struggles and I guarantee each of you would not 
want to think that you played a role in, in anyone's decline of their well-being. So that's all just for right now, guys. I just I wanted to take the beginning of this to just say and give a message to you that it's something that we're thinking about. Allison and I are thinking about each and every one of you, and through our videos every single day, we try to be uplifting for that reason, that if we can just give you one glimmer of hope, one smile, one laugh, that it can change a life. It can totally change a life or even save a life. And that's not just us, that's all of you too. But let's go check on Allison, head back inside. Hello. Hi. Still working on your blog stuff? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You have a lot to say. Wow. It's almost like she malfunctioned. <laughs> She's... What? You made more noise. She has been so chatty today. What have you been working on? I am working on a post that I want to get out today. And I want to try and work on... She just stepped on her sister. Like full on just stepped and walked across, walked across her sister. Rude. I want to get out a bunch of posts this week because I'm doing a 10 by 10 challenge which actually got kicked off last week by a couple bloggers that I love. They're hosting one. And I decided to kind of speed mine up and take part of it this week. So I'm going to have like a post every day. Nice. going to be crazy. And that's all these clothes? Yeah. Well, some of those. Not all of those, but some of those. It's only 10, 10 things. That sounds stressful. 10 items. I have two pairs of shoes. It's only 10 things that you wear for two weeks. It's crazy. Crazy. All right, so it's been a few hours since we checked in with you last, and right now we are actually getting ready to sit down and watch the new Netflix show, Series of Unfortunate Events. There, it's based on the books, and there was a movie that came out a few years back, and things like that. We've really just been kind of relaxing today. We went and ordered some sandwiches. So, or they like chicken, just like chicken. That we just ordered chicken. But a, a big part of the reason why I wanted to kind of open the vlog with everything that I did this morning about mental health awareness is today is our kind of mental health day. The fact that we got an extra day off work for the day, we wanted to really take advantage of that and try not to do so, too much and go. We've actually been under a ton of stress lately. So there's been a lot of stuff and work going on at, the office and just a bunch of stuff that we're trying to get done with YouTube and we're putting a ton of pressure on ourselves and it's sort of adding up but it's okay we're, that's why we take a mental health day right yeah is that a bib maybe that's very cute so that's not to say that we haven't done a ton of work today in addition but we just didn't do like all the running around and a lot of like the intense stressful stuff so if today seems like a more boring vlog for you we apologize but sometimes everybody needs just kind of a mental health day like us 